Tonight, a Westchester pilot and his passenger out for a scenic night flight of New York got more of a thrill than they really bargained for because the engine quit over the Statue of Liberty. The plane made an emergency landing in Liberty State Park. Tony Guide is there now with the latest for us. Tony? Well, Chuck, you don't often see a single-engine Piper Cherokee in the middle of Liberty State Park, but it is very lucky, as you pointed out, for two Westchester County men tonight that it is here because it developed engine trouble at precisely the wrong time as they were over the Hudson River. Uh, the pilot from Hartsdale, who's a 40-year veteran of flying, and his passenger had left Westchester County Airport earlier tonight. They were out for a little sightseeing. They do it a lot. They had circled the Statue of Liberty, and then trouble. The engine started to quit on me, and uh, I said, oh, well, I'm in trouble, and uh, uh, took all necessary emergency procedures, what I had to do, checked everything, and, uh, and then the engine started to quit again, caught and then quit, and then when the second time when she started to quit, and then I had to make my decision, and knowing the area, knowing the strip, at night, I said, well, let me take my chances. This is it. i got to put it down. Well, i got Changes something to talk <laughs> about now, anyway. I had nothing to talk about before I accept my operation. This is much more exciting. Let me give you an idea of exactly where we are. You're looking at the World Trade Center, and uh, here we are in Liberty State Park, what seems like just a drive on a five-iron way. It's uh, really about a mile. The uh, New Jersey State Park Police say this has never happened before, a forced landing at this park. But fortunately, this one turned out very well. Tony Guida reporting live from Liberty State Park in New Jersey. Back to the studio. All right, Tony, thank you. Well, now those attendants say they will mount protests unless the Pope changes airlines. The pilot of a crippled single-engine plane radioed he was going to crash and then made an emergency landing at Liberty State Park in New Jersey. That park across New York Harbor from the Statue of Liberty is only three miles from Newark Airport.